and welcome to the module Faith and Reason. The MA in Systematic and Philosophical Theology perhaps has one issue right at its very heart, and that's the relationship between faith and reason. In today's debates about uh, re religion in public life, about the nature of rationality, its scope, about how disciplines such as theology relate to modern scientific disciplines. These issues have at their heart the relationship between faith and reason. How do we understand faith? How do we understand reason? Faith is often regarded as something entirely private, uh, a personal predilection, something we choose to follow, something we might or might not believe. Uh, faith is often regarded as simply a leap in the dark, whereas reason is something that is public. Uh, rationality is something that we share and discuss, and our powers of reason are something that we can all exercise as human beings. So faith and reason are regarded as in many ways very, very distinct. Faith is private, reason is public. And very often in public political discourse today, uh, various public figures, be they intellectuals or politicians, policy makers, are very reluctant to discuss issues of faith because these are regarded as private and individual, nothing to do with public debate. But this division between faith and reason, we come to learn, is very modern, very peculiar, and figures prior to modernity, leading right up to the high Middle Ages, would not have regarded faith and reason as, in any sense, juxtaposed. They would not regard them as in opposition. In fact, they would regard faith as always uh, intertwined with reason and reason always requiring elements of faith. And we see this fundamental debate about the nature of the relationship between faith and reason played out right through our intellectual history, all the way from Tertullian, the early church thinker, who said once famously, what has Athens to do with Jerusalem? What has Athens, the tradition of Greek philosophical reason, to do with Jerusalem, the tradition of Jewish, Hebrew, scriptural, faithful learning? So right from the very beginning of the Christian period, the debate about the relationship between faith and reason can be seen. And this module provides contributions from various members of the department looking at different themes to do with faith and reason. So it's not ordered chronologically, it's ordered much more thematically. So, for example, my colleague Connor Cunningham has provided a unit on phenomenology and the way that phenomenology, that tradition of philosophy emerging from the work of Edmund Husserl in the 20th century, the way that phenomenology deals with issues of faith and reason, my colleague Philip Goodchild has provided a unit on faith and reason through the tradition of philosophy of spiritual practice that we find particularly in figures such as Edith Stein. And my colleague John Milbank, in some of his seminal work, has provided a unit looking at faith and reason in relation to issues of secularization in the modern world, whereas my contribution, my unit, is focused on faith and reason as we find it particularly in the work of Thomas Aquinas. So students can look at very, very diverse issues uh, concerning this uh, relationship between faith and reason through a variety of different texts, some of them medieval, some of them modern, some of them philosophical, some of them exclusively theological, and then choose one area where they can study, guided by a tutor, an issue related to faith and reason in much more detail. So in many ways, this optional module can be seen as a capstone to the taught part of the course, uh, that hinge between taught modules and the research dissertation in which so many issues uh, encountered in other modules are brought together under this single umbrella of the relationship between faith and reason. Thank you.